And on this St. Patrick's Day, we are taking a look back at one of Montana's most famous Irishmen. MTN's Andy Curtis has more on former Governor Thomas Marr. When visiting the state capitol, he's kind of hard to miss. This bronze statue of former Governor Thomas Francis Marr has sat here on the North Lawn since 1905, which got me wondering, why? The Treasure State has produced plenty of statue-worthy people. Why is Governor Marr so special? He was fighting for freedom for all of Montana. Freedom fighting was kind of a common theme for Marr. According to Vice President of the Helena Chapter of the Ancient Order of Hibernians, Mike O'Connor, first in Marr's native Ireland, fighting against the British, where he's still actually quite the celebrity. Then here in the U.S. as a general in our Civil War, before making his way out to Big Sky Country, where he was thrusted into the territorial governor position on two separate occasions. He wanted to do good for all of the people. And uh, he, uh, he would talk to anybody. Uh, and uh, you know, he had a lot of enemies, but uh, he, he was willing to, to talk to them. And uh, I think we've lost that. Yeah, this day and age, you know, if you oppose somebody, you don't talk to him. And Marr talked to everybody. Following his mysterious death in Fort Benton in 1867, a St. Patrick's Day speech by fellow Irishman and Montana U.S. House Rep. Martin McGinnis in 1869 called for a statue of Marr to be built, and the state's large Irish population obliged. The people of Montana appreciated that, that, they, you know, there was somebody in government, you know, looking out for them. We have got a lot more information about Governor Marr's contributions, not just here in Montana, but worldwide up on our website. Reporting from Helena, Andy Curtis, MTN News.